all right welcome to this yet another video on the open ems in this case we want to import students from the excel files the excel templates that are provided with the system and we would like to get them not just into the open ems system but directly into the classroom so i've entitled this video importing students step one from the excel or the excel template to the directory and then from the directory into the eventual classroom now just by reading this title you should understand that the prerequisite would be to have um grades and classroom set up in the open emis that is done using your academic tab once you have permission here you would have to create your classrooms or your classes if there are no classes then the importation process for students would not be fully complete you would be able to fu fully complete step one here you would be able to input to the directory but you would not be able to bring from the directory into the classroom i make this video in um, on the premise that you do understand and have access to an open ems platform so here we want to input students into the classroom if you do not have a classroom then you cannot get students in so let's go on to the process the process um, uh, there are three steps in this process here and the process steps would be first you input students into the directory with the basic information and that's using the excel templates provided by open ems second step you input students into their schools and subsequently into their classrooms and the third step the principal or the authority of the school the person who given those authority would be able to activate the student to allow them enrollment in your school now we will go through this step by step using the open ems platform so first of all i would go to my school the demo school and I'm here in classroom just checking to ensure that I have a class. If you do not have a class, you cannot import your students completely. So I do have a class. It's a grade 6A. So that's um, a specific grade in the class. So the, the class is grade 6 and the specific grade is 6A. I could also now make another grade by clicking here. Now, the first step in importation would be getting students into the directory. And that's where we would use the Excel file. And this Excel file, you could access it from here. You click here and you could do the importation once you fill up the, the Excel sheet with the correct information for the child. You would be able to do that importation. So, here, if you want a copy of it, you download by clicking here and you would be able to fill it up. It's basic Excel, fill it up with the required information browse find it import once you do the importation we would then get the data for all those students that you would have placed in that excel coming into the directory and in this case i am doing students here and i'm looking for the importation of students um we had some students imported so all persons imported would go to the directory and the order is not the order is um based on time so your last page here would be the latest students that have been imported so in this case i want to bring in this child so i'll keep that name handy and now that's the first step you would have brought the students into the directory with the basic information now the second step is to move the student from the directory into the school and subsequently into the classroom so we would jump ahead to find the institution that we would like to get a child in so in this case maybe the principal or the person with authority at the school level signs in the specific school they go to the students tab notice we are going to you must bring the child into the school so you go to the students tab to bring the child from the directory into the school we click add at this point here or oh, we are adding our child into the school and here the adding of the child is through the importation it's, it's it's through this process here child already is in the system through the directory so now it's to get the child name and surname and add them to the school so i put this there i don't care about it but for now because it's not much children i do not have to filter but i would use this to help verify that this is the child now in the future once you print your ids you have a simpler way to input to 
to, to find your child without making duplications of students in the system but at this time we do not have a printer so we know that this is the child we select the child from here and we add when you click the add button you are actually adding the child to your school okay so the child is now close it's close the process is close we are adding the child into the school at this academic period and we are adding them into grade six and that's the the, the the grade six but it's not a specific class here we need to add a specific class that the child is going to fit himself into so that the teacher would be able to rule a child and the child starts school on the fourth that's fine because the child started school on maybe the fifth that's better and you click complete and that's the process now of moving the child not only to the school but into the specific class click complete again and that's it there now what has happened we have now moved a child from directory or we have associated the child which is still in the directory into his school now i need to go into um i need to go into the students calendar here click students again let's see if there is there's any let's see if there's any child there is no nobody here now what what's happening here why aren't we seeing this child here now the third step is the approval process from the authority or the activation process. You cannot just input and expect the child to be in your school. You need to activate or accept because this could happen by accident and every principal would be able to be responsible for what's happening in the school. So the principal on his dashboard in the workflow or the workbench would see that he there is some student admission. He goes through the student admission. And he's asking himself the question, are we supposed to approve this? Am I supposed to approve this? The teacher would inform this principal and say, yes, you are supposed to approve this because this is one of our child. Um, he is just enrolled in the school and we want him to be confirmed. So the principal is clicking on that child to confirm or deny. Okay, and I put I did this for test and I would approve. And once I approve, now, notice I only have one to approve again. If I go back to my school, if I go back to my school, um, I would now have two students, the test student, and I now have two students, a male and a female. Let me click on students here. And there we go so now julieton is in grade six that's the importation process in subsequent video we deal with what happens after this